In this video, we shall learn about QGIS interface and the process of georeferencing using georeferencer tool. So first open the QGIS software. Then we can see this one is menu toolbar. This one is attribute toolbars and this one is the vector toolbars. This portion is called map area or map canvas. In the left side, we can see the panels, layer panels, here browser panels and the bottom of the interface we see the status bar. These layers or browser panel may be absent. We can add this layer by clicking on view, then panels. Now click on layers. You can see the layer panel is added. In the same way, we click on view, panels, browser. We see the browser panel is added. Again feature, that is a very important feature for QGIS. Uh, when a program supports any plugin, it enables customization. So using this plugin menu, we can add different tools according to our needs. I click on manage and install plugin. Here we, I can say that different plugin menus are checked here. Suppose I am unchecking this one. Okay. And now I close. You can see when I click on raster, there is the absence of georeferencer plugin. Again, if I click on plugin and then click on manage and install plugin and check this one georeferencer GDAL. Okay, now close this one. Now click on the raster, you can see georeferencer. So in that way, we can customize the toolbar according to our needs. This georeferencer is uh, most important, we can say, toolbar for performing the georeference on the map. Now we will see how to perform georeferencing on a raster image using ground control point or GCP. So first click on raster, click on georeferencer. So we can see the plugin window is divided into two section. We can make these kind of changes here according to our need. The top section, here the raster will be displayed and in the bottom section where the table of GCP will appear. GCP that means ground control point. Here we can see the GCP table is written. So here the ground control point table will appear. So to add raster, click on open raster or we can go through file open raster okay so i am clicking on this my raster images it f drive and qjs directory in this folder this bakura practice that is the that this tip image is the raster image on which i will perform the georeferencing so click on open we can see the raster image is open. We can zoom in or zoom out this image by clicking on this zoom in or zoom out this one or we can use that pen to move this one. Okay. Again, we can using the scroll button of our mouse, we can zoom in or zoom out the map or pressing on the scroll button, we can move this raster image on the map canvas. 
now you uh, i mean we need to assign the coordinates to some points on this map the junction point of coordinator 86 degree 45 minute and 23 degree 30 minutes in the same way here another ground control point is present in the same way this one and this one so we will take this four ground control point so zoom this area as much possible we have come to know this one value of this ground control point is 86 degree 45 minute east and 23 degree 30 minute north now zoom this area okay now click on add point tool the add point tool is this one so now we can see that a plus sign is present on the screen now place the now place the plus sign on the center of the ground control point and click you can see x and y coordinated is showing in that pop-up window we have to put the x and y value x means here we have to put the value of longitude the value of longitude is 86 degree 45 minute so click on there 86 degree we will pay, we will put a space here and 45 we can give another space and put 0 for second this 0 is optional you can give 0 or just you can leave the number up to 45 now click on north that means the latitude the value is 23 degree 23 space 30 minute space 0 second now click on ok we can see in the gcp table a row has been added this row contain detailed information of the first gcp in the same way zoom in already the add point tool is active here put the plus sign or cursor in the center of the ground control point and click again the pop-up window appear so put the value of longitude that is 87 degree 87 degree give space 45 minute give space at 0 second now give the value of y coordinate or latitude that is 23 degree space 30 minute space 0 second now ok so another row is added in the same way we will take the third ground control point this one eighty seven degree forty five minute zero second and twenty two degree forty five minute zero second so click on OK I am moving the raster image by clicking on the scroll button of mouse press the scroll button and move the mouse then the image will also move now the 
fourth ground control point this one click on the center we can see the value of x coordinate is 86 degree 45 minute 0 second and 22 degree that means 22 space 45 minute 45 space and 0 degree okay so the four ground control point have been added now go to setting option okay now transformation setting polynomial 1 resampling method nearest neighbor okay target SRS EPSG 4326 this one WGS 84 now click on ok now go to output raster click on that three dot browse this one now we have to select the path of output file so I will keep the modified data or georeferenced raster image in F drive QGIS directory or I can also create a new folder here just click on right button of mouse new folder we can rename the folder with our roll number or in that case I am giving the name QGIS underscore practice file name is district Bakura modified or I can write here geo referenced geo reference now I will select QGIS practice this one and in the name of district Bakura geo referenced I will save this one and the save type of the file will be tip file so save this one now save gcp point load in qgis when done then ok now go to file click on start georeferencing either you have this option or you can or you can directly click on this start georeferencing so GR referencing is completed. You can see, you can see district Bakura geo reference. If I move the cursor here, you can see the coordinate is changing. So in this way, we can perform geo referencing on raster image.